does that mean the hold and the glass? That's a good question. So if somebody tells you to anneal for the thickness of the piece, this is the thickness of your piece, correct? This right here? Uh, yeah, I guess if it's completely, if it's completely round. Yeah, that's the thickness of your piece, correct? Yeah. That tells you nothing. <laughs> you have to anneal from dead center to the outside of the mold. Hmm. Reason oh. being, heat is coming from every direction at the same rate, okay? So if this is a four inch ball and you kneel for four inches and your mold is two inches, you're pretty, you're pretty lucky because if this is four inches here, that means this right here is two inches. You got a two inch mold. That means you're kneeling for four inches because that's how long it takes the heat to penetrate the mold and reach the inside of the glass, okay? Um, if you really are interested in this, Bullseye has a great video on it. It's extremely long, it's really scientific, and it's called the Delta T annealing cycle. What they do is they take a kiln like this, they fill it with thermocouples, then they put a thermocouple to the halfway point of the mold, a thermocouple to where the mold touches the glass, and a thermocouple all the way to the center of the glass and they manually turn the kiln down to keep this, this, and this all the same temperature at the same time. So if you turn it down, if you turn, if you come down too fast, the heat from here to here, this, this part's gonna be 700 degrees. This right here, is going to be 900 degrees this right here is going to be 1200 degrees does that make sense yeah because this is this is the most insulated spot so you have to come down slow enough that point a point b and point c are all the same temperature so so if you do really thus you want your mold to be as thin as possible to withstand the pressure. Right. Yes. So I always anneal from dead center to the outside of the mold because that's the amount of time it takes to get the heat into the center. Okay. Um, let's say, all right, let's say you do a six inch. <coughs> this is six inches across. Your mold is two inches. Okay. You're not annealing for six inches. You're annealing for three and two inches. Hmm. Your mold is two inches thick. This is six inches, hmm. so you're kneeling for the radius. So the radius is three inches. The mold is two inches. You anneal for five inches. You don't anneal for six inches because that's a waste of energy. Hmm. Because basically six inches would get you from here to here. So if you've got a really irregular <coughs> piece, you just have to figure out where the thickness is. The, the longest point. The longest point from the outside of the mold to the mm -hmm. inside of the mold. That's that's what you kneel for. So your your little spiky yeah. doodah. <coughs> okay? I'm not this is Okay, this is mold. Mm -hmm. I'm not annealing from here to here. I'm annealing from here to, to here. Yeah. Yep. So you have to be aware of that. Okay, any questions on annealing? Any questions on fire?